Chris. God damn it! Where's Chris? Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, man. Hey, you ready to go hit this place up? Well, uh, I would love to, but we got a call from uh, a family that's won, won some help with uh, investigating their place. Really? Yeah, apparently, uh, let's see, they, they called me and um, they said that they had some, some, they were hearing some knocks all around the house, mostly in a ceiling. Yeah. And um, uh, their child was woken up in the middle of the night and uh, by a whisper, you know, something whispering in his ear. And um, uh, when they, when he was brought into the living room, the uh, bed started shaking and stuff. Really? Uh, yeah, some, some weird shit over there. Dude, that is creepy as hell. So, how long how long has it been going on? Did they say? Um, this is, ever since they um, ever since they moved in, which was around March of this year. Oh wow. So so yeah so it's actually affecting their child. Yeah, they they have a a, a daughter and a son and. Uh, well, the daughter didn't complain too much, but the son does. He, he uh, he's been getting, he's really creeped out about his closet. He, uh, <clears throat> um, he doesn't say he see anything, but, um, he's, he's getting, he, he's real affected by it. And saying the, the parents are real freaked out about it, too. Right, so it, so it's definitely something that needs to take priority, being that oh, there's. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. We gotta go check this out, make sure everything's all right. Yeah. About it. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Yeah. I. I. You know what? Let's definitely. I mean, you know, anything with the kids that we, you know, we put those cases on priority. So, yeah, we'll definitely go help them out tonight. Do you tell them we're coming tonight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're waiting for us. Alrighty. The. Uh, yeah. We'll definitely go. We'll definitely go see if we can give them some help or try to get them some answers. Um. Yeah, guy. Uh, let me. Uh, Man, I am just wrapping up now, so I tell you what, let's, uh, I tell you what, we'll meet up, we'll get on down there, and, uh, try to get them some answers, I guess, um, and see what we can find down there. They definitely need some help. Alright, man. Alright, Chris, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call here in just a few minutes. Okay, Alright, man. Later. Right. Later, bro. Later. What's up, guys? It's Eric and Chris. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay, so we're back. Um, anyway, guys, so we also have a, another group called Memphis Empath Paranormal Society where we will actually help local citizens in and around the area we live in. Well, anyway, guys, we got a pretty disturbing phone call last night. Uh, there's children involved, so we decided to go ahead and lend a hand, and instead of doing one of our regular urban adventures, we decided to go ahead and help this family out, see if we can figure out what's going on in their home. They've experienced a lot of stuff. They've got a lot of cool, crazy audio evidence. So it pulled us on down here, guys. We're going to check it out. We're going to see exactly if we can get to the root cause of what's going on in the home. I, I mean, it's a fairly new home. Not a lot of history that we know about the place. So guys, we're just going to go in there. We're going to check it out. We're going to see if we can capture any cool evidence. If we do, it may warrant it. It may warrant for us to come back again. We're just going to check it out and see. And hopefully we can capture some evidence or give the family some peace of mind. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. Let's get into it. Enough of the talking. Let's 
head on in because you can see, I mean, it's a pretty modern home. Not a whole lot of history. Yeah, it built in what? 1997. So guys, we're gonna go in here and check it out. We've already got, we've already done a walkthrough with the family. We're gonna take the identity of them. I can tell you that we are here in Northern Mississippi. So guys, anyway, we're in the house. This is the, you can see it's the den area. We got a laser grid set up right there. We got it on this wall covering the beautiful Christmas tree. Just kind of give you an idea. So anyway, we're checking that out. We're going to let the kit record. We got a camera up there. It's going to be recording. We're going to run some EVP stations in here, see if we can capture any noise. We've already heard some crazy knocks when we were coming through here earlier. We're going to check that out. Andrea's here. Say hi. Um, guys, and another thing is actually the bathroom door actually locked on its own a while ago and we couldn't figure it out. So anyway, there's no telling. So Chris, take us through the house, kind of show us what they've, what they've experienced. Right. And so <clears throat> as, far, as far as I can remember, they keep hearing knocks around in this, in, the, in this whole area here, just knocks, just, just like a simple, that's it. And then, uh. <clears throat> in here now one night the uh, the son was uh, asleep and he heard a whisper in his ear saying we're here and uh, he uh, went to his mom and asked you know if, if that you know if she had come in there and uh, she said no so he went on ahead and uh, slept on the couch with his uh, with his dad and and uh, or not with his dad, with his with his dog, and uh, they slept on the couch, and uh, the mother and father were sleeping in their room, but um, in the middle of the night, the uh, the father had woken up and heard heard uh, what sounded like the bed frame moving, the the headboard moving, and it was like it was just kind of like that. So you actually, but you actually having to pick yeah, it up yeah, off the wall. Actually, you actually had to pull it, pull it with a little bit of force in order for it to do that. Wow, so so. it takes a lot for it to do that. <clears throat> and uh, the the, uh, the son feels a little weird about the closet. Everybody else does. I know I did, I know. and I I really don't like that that mirror right there. Yeah, the, uh, that mirror is creepy. And the um, we already checked the wires right there to see if they had any current right and it's and it's actually i mean even the junction box is right here over to the left and it's actually i mean the whole room is dead it's not pulling any yes. any emf field whatsoever we've actually been through the house the house baseline at zero did you get anything on the mail meter is no, it all zero just point the, zero just the fact that the uh the living room area is warmer than everything else in the house yeah I definitely, I actually Whether felt the cold spot anything, right there in the doorway when we came yeah, through. Yeah, so. it, felt, it felt the cold spot right there. Yeah, like right hit me in the face. Anything in this master bedroom, Chris? No. Oh, yes. Uh, in here, <clears throat> the mother and um, the mother was sleeping in here when, when uh, I can't remember if it was in the morning or later on that night. But she was in here by herself, and she felt like a, she felt like a, a, a something coming up and, and, like just sitting on the bed, just come up and sit on the bed. Right. And then she even seen the depression in the bed when it happened. Uh, and then, she, I think that was that was actually a couple months ago. She says that that happened, and then not that long ago, I believe maybe. A week or so ago, maybe right. not even that long, the father had went had had, had experienced the same deal where where he seen the uh, the side of the bed had had uh, depressed a little bit, like somebody was sitting at the bed. <clears throat> now, I've already done a scan of this place and you know didn't get any kind of readings. Of it's pretty much flat line. It's it's baseline at zero. 0.0, 0. there's no, 
any kind of EMF field whatsoever. And, uh, Chris, what about the uh, what about the cross, the crucifix above the fireplace? Yes, above the fireplace. <clears throat> the um, it was the only thing that was knocked down. Um, and they they have me like a bunch of uh, other stuff sitting there, like a picture, maybe some few other items. But the cross was above all that stuff, and it, for some weird reason or another, it got knocked down, and it got knocked down twice, and they had it somewhere else, and they got, or, no, it got knocked down twice, and then they, they just put it up somewhere, and then, um, <clears throat> there's like a, kind of like a picture type deal, something like this, right. maybe a little bigger than that, underneath the TV, that all of a sudden, just one day, the bottom end came scooting out from underneath it. Wow. All right, guys. So, it I mean, it is serious being that with there are kids involved. That's why we decided to jump on this as soon as we heard about it. What else, Chris? I thought I seen the door move, man. Did the door move? <laughs> it looked like it. Just, it just barely moved. Oh, shit. Did it? All right, guys. I know it's. I know this is a pretty serious case because, there, like I said, there's actually children involved. But be sure to give us a like. Be sure to give it a good thumbs up, especially if you love that hat that Chris is wearing. You want to see him wear it in every video from now on. Be sure to give us a like. All right, guys. So we're gonna get ready and get this place set up. Let me. We're gonna go in here into the den area, and we're gonna show you the fireplace. Uh, just so you can kind of see. But so the crucifix was yeah, up here, crucifix, right? I believe the crucifix was. I think it was bad. Do you know if it was <coughs> sitting on the mantle or up here? I know that they right said there. there's, it was, yeah. yeah, there's an L spot right, right there. there. Yeah, and it just kept falling down. Well, it did it twice. It did it time, like, it but it's like actually screwed. anchored. It was screwed into yeah. the to the brick. Mm-hmm. Wow. <coughs> and then this thing over here. They said that the uh, the bottom end had. Granted, it's not really that hard to to maybe scoot it out, but still, yeah. the fact that the that it all just kind of screwed out from the bottom, and that's the ice maker. That is the ice maker. <laughs> yeah, that scared us last time when we were in there. <laughs> Yeah, we went into the garage because we thought we heard something in there. <laughs> so, guys, anyway, they said they've been experiencing this stuff since May. It has just finally gotten to the breaking point where they decided that... It's water. That's water to it's the ice maker. It's pumping water into the ice maker. So, guys, you know, they said the activity's been going on since May. Uh, it's finally just gotten to the point where it's really worn down or tired of it But guys also something that I kind of am curious about is when we actually scoped the garage out We know it's a bunch of old furniture out here. So that's interesting. You know a lot of times we believe that Spirits I'll say can attach themselves to items now, would I personally attach myself to my old couch? No, I highly doubt that. But just That's saying, it is a much. it is a point of interest. I mean, yeah, like my lazy boy, I might be attached to it. But right. um, guys, so anyway, like you said, we got the camera up there. You can see that we got we got plenty of equipment set up here on the bar from ghost box, mail meters, static detectors. This is actually a static detector. As you can see it picks up static energy. I didn't really K2 touch meter, digital voice recorder. We're gonna be doing some EVPs tonight. We got some night vision cameras that we're gonna set up and let roll. Oh, I need to grab a tripod too, Chris. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that, guys. We're gonna see if we can catch anything. So be sure and stay tuned to that. We're fixing to get ready to roll it to lights out. So we'll be changing the camera. The footage is being filmed in night vision, so the quality is going to drop a little bit, but it should be pretty good. All right, guys, let's get this thing going. Can you, can you see that laser gray with the night vision on, or is it just kind of bright it out, light it, lit out? I see dots. A couple of dots? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's why I got that camera going up there, because it's not night vision. It'll pick up that whole laser grid. If it actually picks up anything, you'll see. 
to see it manipulate yeah. the laser grid. I'm going to roll on a digital recorder and see if we can catch anything right off the bat. So let's go ahead and roll into it. It's Eric and Chris in a private residence, Olive Ranch, Mississippi. Saturday, November the 15th. Uh, uh. <laughs> I can't remember the date. <clears throat> Is there anybody here in this home that would like to let themselves be known? If so, come forward. If you speak loud and clear, we might be able to hear you on the device I'm holding in my hand. Feel a cold spot right here. What one of the things they said was they felt a cold spot. Yeah, over there by the couch. Can you tell us your name? You told the young boy we are here. Can you tell me who you are? Who's here? Can you knock on something? You like to knock on things. Can you knock on something? I don't really feel a whole lot. But then, <clears throat> back there in that back closet, I feel like on edge. I just don't like the way it makes me feel back there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that mirror back there that just creeps me out. Yeah, maybe it's just psychological. That's me walking. Can you tell me who knocked across? Hey, what was that? That yeah, was outside. Okay. Let's tell see. me who knocked across off the fireplace. I thought I'd seen an orb just come over there. Where? Might come past you. Make a noise. Knock on something for me. Don't be afraid. It's your time to shine. We're here. You want to like do little things and let yourself be known. So go ahead and let us know who you are. Give us your name. Did you die in this house? Is that outside? Yep, outside. I think that's dust. Uh, I think I'm seeing a bunch of dust flying from the screen. It's possible. I, I'm seeing a lot of dust in the laser grid. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Eric, Chris, and Andrea, and Richard back in the private residence Saturday night in the den. Got the laser grid up and going. <clears throat> Is there anybody here that would like to make contact with us? If you come up to the device in my hand, I'm holding, tell me your name, speak loud and Me moving. Okay. Speak loud and clear into the device I'm holding in my hand, we'll be able to hear you. Yeah. What's that blinking light back there? That's the power button on the... Uh, oh, okay. Tell me your name. Can you knock on something like this? Can you knock on something and let us know that you're here? If y'all feel a cold spot or anything, let me know. I mean, I'm freezing, so. Well, you're just cold because you were outside letting go. A demon's out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's Chris's fault. I think I'm seeing a lot of dust. Can you tell me who knocked across <laughs> off the fireplace mantle? Hey. 
Did you see that? Hmm. The light. Did you see that? The lights keep dimming. Just, they dim and then they brighten back up. Yeah, they keep doing that. Yeah, it's because of, it's because the uh, the little thingamajig it's in is just not working right. Well, it doesn't make sense. It shouldn't brighten back up. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't. Well, I've always had we've always had trouble with that thing brightening up. No, and no, no, that's a whole new la laser pen. Yeah, that's a brand new laser pen. There you go. See, it just brightened back up. The whole thing dimmed and then brightened right back up. I have no idea, man. It's not moving. Did you say something, Richard? What? Did you say something? Who? Richard. Did you make a noise? It sounded like a. I heard that. That's what I thought too. And then it might need to be tightened. <clears throat> How's that? That's, that's good. Is there anybody here that can make contact with us? If you speak loud and clear, we'll be able to hear you. Can you tell me your name? Is there anybody here that wants to make contact with us? Our camera died in here. Did it? Yep. Wow. Yeah, you walked past the thing. Who's in here with us? Who said we're here? Give us a sign. Move something. Knock on something. Let us know that you're here. Don't be afraid. That's Ouija in the background. Is that Ouija? Yeah. Make a noise. Don't be scared. We're we're not here to we're not here to bother you. We're not here to rash you. We're not here to cause any harm. My hand just got ice cold in the closet. Ain't this where the kid was standing at? In this closet, wasn't it? Where they, he said they said he heard something tell him we're here? No. Huh? No. He was, he, in, he, he was in his, his bed. Closet. He was in his bed when he said we're here. Who said we're here? Who told the kid that we're here? Tell us who's here. Can you make a noise? Move this bed. You moved it for Chad. Move it for us. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Did you used to live in this house? Did you die here? Knock on something. Chris, come here. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Right. Walk in there. What's wrong? Just go ahead and walk in there. I won't go behind you. I don't want to walk in there and trip over anything on the floor or anything. I don't think there's anything on the floor. <clears throat> Anybody in here? Don't be afraid. This device, I'm going to set it on the bed. I'm going to set it right here. If you come up to it, it's got a little light on it. It won't hurt you. Just come up here, tell us your name, say hi to us, and let us know that you're here. We're just trying to document that you're still here. Is there anything you want to tell us? While we're here to help you. Yeah. 
Is there anything we can do to help you? Chad and Ashley don't mind you being here, but they don't want you to scare the children. And you're scaring the kids. Can you tell us your name? Maybe that way they'll know who you are. They just want to know who you are. More car revving. Let's go walk to the master bedroom. Moving from the daughter's bedroom into the master bedroom. I saw, this was what I saw. I saw that light, but I saw a flicker of red, and that's what startled me. Okay, I can't see. Here. You're good. <clears throat> Yeah, as soon as you come in. Man, I just seen something black move across it. I guess it was my shadow. Or my, yeah. Me moving across it. Is there anybody in here? Was this your room? Did you used to live here? Was this your house? Or did you come with... Chad and Ashley from where they lived before. Did you follow them? Is there any message you want us to give them? Can you tell us how you died. It's a little bit too personal, eh? Yep. <laughs> Do you like being here with Chad, Ashley, and the kids? That's a closet. It's a closet over there? Yeah. Who's in here? You need to tell us your name. I think, uh, I think I hear, um, Andrea. I haven't heard it again. I just heard that little faint, I don't know, movement or something. Tell me who's in here. Can you knock on something or move something? Give us a sign. Let us know that you're here. You're not doing much anything to help us out here. Come on. you got to do something. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm lead just on. You want to lead on to it? No, I don't. Know. <laughs> Who's in the house with us? You're hiding? Where are you hiding at? I just... Dude. I instantly just got chilled. Instantly. Mm -hmm. got chilled. Do you see him? Yeah. Where are you hiding at? Play hide and seek. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you make the headboard on that head move for me? Who's in there? I'm not. I'm not? I'm not, that's what it sounds like. Where are you then? Where are you at? Are you hiding from us? Back here in the bedroom again. Are you back here? Why is the little kid always scared to come in his closet? Seek with us? You said you were hiding. Where are you hiding at? Are you 
You in there? Are you back here? Where you at? Oh, I didn't hear that. that was from the Where you at? Dad and Ashley don't mind that you're here, but you gotta stop scaring the kids. Where are you? I don't know, like it said something, I can't, I can't understand it. Are you in here? It's the only other room. I swear to God I said it sounded like I said this is the only other room, and I swear to God, it sounded like it said basement. There ain't no basement in this house, you know? <laughs> we have attic, but no basement. Where are you at? You said you were hiding. Can you tell me what day it is? Don't be afraid to talk to us. <laughs> Give me a name. What's the guy's name that lives in this house? Tell me the lady's name that lives in this house. Neither can I. Huh? I can't tell either. <clears throat> I did wait to get it home and listen to it. There was an orb that passed by in front of you. Huh? It like came down. Kind of like, kind of like that. Yeah. When right here? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Just a few seconds ago. Was that you, dude? Was that you moving through here? Is this your space? Are we invading your space? No. That's not like no. Yeah. Do you, do you like being here with Dad and Ashley? They probably wouldn't mind having you around as long as you didn't scare the kids. Where's your favorite room at?
sound like you said dark, but I couldn't tell. I did. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you did it. I'm dark. bumping into stuff. <laughs> Playing how to sing here. Tell me where you are. I'm looking for you. Can you show yourself to us? On the right. Can you the right. Huh? It sounded like somebody said on the right. <laughs> the bathroom is on my right. The closet's on my right now. Where are you? <coughs> what is my life? I don't Can the dog see you? Were, you? were you by the couch last night? The dog noticed you by the couch last night, didn't he? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning. It's not morning time yet, though. Can you tell me good evening? Seems residual. That's crazy though. You hear how fast it's sweeping the channels? And you get a full two words like that? Good yeah. morning? Over a whole bunch of channels? Yeah. It seems residual to me. Huh? It seems like the activity in here is just residual. <laughs> yeah. Can you... That sounded like coffee, a big pot. <laughs> Can you give me your name? Tell me your name. I can actually have Scott go through that when I when I was talking and say, Can you tell me your name? And I wanted to say, Give me your name. Right. Some trying to speak there. I can actually have Scott go through that and lift my voice off of it. Where he can just get this audio. So we'll have him look at it and see if he can figure out what it's saying. Yeah. Can you give me a name? Try to, try to use all of your energy and give us your name. We're getting ready to start wrapping up. Can you please give us your name? Come up and talk to us. That way we'll know you're here. Smoking. On my right. Hey, and look at the K2 meter. See that? Are you still there? You might be too close to the thing, man. Set it back down. Huh? Set it back down. Where are you at? Chris, 
wrist. God damn it! Ah! <laughs> and did you hear it? It said it tried to warn you, Chris. It tried to warn you. To give you a Chris, it warned you. We didn't hear oh, it. It told you yeah. behind you. Oh shit. I hope you were recording that. I'm still recording. I was trying to give you a kiss. Chris, it's right for you. It said yeah. behind you. We should have stayed right there. I saw her. It said behind you, and as soon as you turn around. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I was trying to kiss you to tell you. Oh my I'm, god. I was going to go outside. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I wanted to tell you I was going outside. Oh my god. It's okay, Andy. I love you. I love Did you, you too. Did you see Andrea scare Chris? Good shit, It man. sounded like it said Chris, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. Chris has got to go take his doors now. Who's <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Chris oh. behind him? That seriously hey, sounded hey, like. You didn't hear it? Dude, yeah, I heard Chris, Chris. I heard Chris, but I didn't hear behind him. Behind you. And I was sitting there, and I, when I heard Chris, I turned and looked at you, and I saw Andrew come around the corner, and then it said behind you, and you just happened to turn around. I like it. And you just happened to turn around, and there Andrew went. It warned you. It warned you that Andrew was coming. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Who tried to warn Chris? It's okay, baby. <laughs> Can you tell us who tried to warn Chris? You just say me if you did it. That was a good laugh. Thank you. Did you hear that? So there might be a there might be some residual energy, but there could also be an intelligent one in there. It did, man. That was crazy. It said Chris. Then it said behind you. Dude, that was that was <laughs> We're gonna get ready to close the ghost box out. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell us before we turn this off? This is your chance to talk to us right now. Did you enjoy getting to talk to us tonight? I think you were hiding from us most. I think you were hiding from us most of the night, weren't you? Chris said thanks for warning me, but he still got scared. <laughs> Alright, well we're going to turn the ghost lights off right now, okay? Remember, Santa and Ashley only wanted this for validation. We just to ask you to please not scare the kids. Will you, will you not scare the kids for us, please? Does that sound like Navy? Navy. <laughs> Alright, well we're going to turn it off, okay? Until next time, please stay in this house. You're not allowed to follow me or Chris or Andrea or any of us. You have to stay here or go towards the right. Alright, and with that, we're going to conclude this Ghost Box session. All right, guys, we, we're getting done. You know, we're going to have to go home and view all this footage. We're going to go through and analyze it, listen to the audio. We did a few EVP sessions. Hopefully, we caught something. What did you feel about it? Mm. What do you think? <laughs> I, now, I think we might have some uh, residual, some residual, actually, and, and maybe there might be one intelligent spirit around here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say there's probably something intelligent due to the fact that Chris 
got the ever living scared out of him. And guys, so we're gonna, it may, it may, you know, warranty us coming back and investigating it a little bit further, seeing if we can catch up some more evidence. Oh, that light's way too bright. But anyway, guys, uh, anyway, we got some good content coming up for you in the next several weeks. You see, it's that time of the year. Mm -hmm. Christmas is right upon us. So guess what, guys? We're always in a giving mood. And we're going to be putting out some free merch for you guys. So be sure to drop us some comments. Let us know what you thought about the video. And Chris and I have got something pretty cool, hopefully, coming up in the next couple of weeks, if I can talk you into it. I hope you aren't too scared or sketched out about it. We'll see. Anyway, guys, we love you. We appreciate the support. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know every time we drop. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.